Hello everyone and welcome to a special episode of Maxwell Render Hot Tips. Today's episode is special because I'm not just looking at Maxwell Studio, I'm also going to be looking at a separate piece of software called HDR Light Studio, which works with Maxwell Studio to provide custom lighting setups to your scenes, but setups which are sometimes faster and easier to use than placing emitters around your scene. So let's have a look. This is the scene that I'll be using today. And before we begin, I'd like to point out that there are no emitters in this scene, no emitter materials whatsoever. And I've got fire enabled, and it's giving me a completely black preview, because there's no environmental lighting either. If I go over to my environment window, you can see that my type is set to image-based, my background type is set to HDR Light Studio, and my reflection, refraction, and illumination are all set to same as background. I should also point out that in my background scale and offset, I've had to put minus one and 180 respectively. This is simply due to the way that HDR Light Studio works. If I were to leave these values at their default settings, HDR Light Studio would not quite orientate correctly. But it's time to have a look at what HDR Light Studio actually is and what it does. So I'm going to launch HDR Light Studio from Maxwell Studio to make sure that it's paired up. And this is HDR Light Studio itself, and the fastest way to explain it is to see it in action. I'm going to click on this icon here to introduce a new light into my scene and you can see the results instantly as Maxwell Fire automatically updates. And if I move this light in HDR Light Studio, the Maxwell Studio Interactive Preview reflects the changes made. You can also see that I have this Live Light Preview. This is a feature of HDR Light Studio and enables you to use the Light Paint feature, which is a very powerful way of quickly setting up your scenes. With the Light Paint feature set to Illumination Mode as it is now, I can click on any part of the model, and the light that I currently have selected in HDR Light Studio will position itself so that it's illuminating whatever I'm clicking on. So for example, my first light may well be that I just want to illuminate my background to help me set up this pack shot scene. I can adjust the size of the light to give me a better result and help me blow out the background. I can also then introduce another light and using the same Light Paint Mode, position it so that it's illuminating the side of the model, and then a third light so that it's illuminating the front of the model. And to go on from here, what I might like is a light specifically to bring out some of the nice reflections in these lenses. So I can actually change my light paint mode to reflective and introduce a circular light, and then select on the model where I'd like the light to be reflected. And then I can adjust its size so that it's just a nice little highlight and tweak it accordingly. And now I can quickly do the same for the viewfinder. And maybe this time I'll keep this light this size, but I might just turn the intensity down so that it's not illuminating too much. And as you should be able to see, this is significantly faster than manually setting up all of these lights. And once I'm finished, I can save the project so that HDR Light Studio will remember all the properties of my lights. And if I like the HDRI that I've created, I can render it at various different sizes and in various different formats and use this as my map when I'm using image-based lighting in Maxwell Studio. There are, of course, various other features of HDR Light Studio. For example, I can come in and change the color of my light, for example, using a Kelvin value here to add some warmth to the scene. And if I want, I don't just have to have rectangular, elliptical, or hexagonal lighting. I can have an image texture, and HDR Light Studio comes with all of these different textures, and they have various applications, either studio lighting or more basic lighting. For example, here are some windows to help you replicate taking a photograph in a very basic setting in a house. I can disable the round light that's already in place by clicking this checkbox, and perhaps change the intensity of this light down a little, and then create the effect that this is a more tabletop studio type setup. And another powerful feature is the ability to set a background by opening existing HDRI and then having the ability to customize it. So for example, in this scene, I can add a rectangular light, put it approximately where the window is, and then set my blending mode to amplify so that I'm now effectively just increasing the exposure of this particular section of the image. HDR Light Studio is a very fast way of creating a custom HDR image to use as your environment in Maxwell Studio, which of course in itself is a very fast way of creating the lighting in your scene, and it's a very fast way to render. I definitely encourage you to check it out at hdrlightstudio.com, and if you want more in-depth tutorials, go to youtube.com slash hdrlightstudio. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you found this useful, I'll see you again soon.